Chapter 2 opens with Nana complaining that Jalil never treats her the same way as he treats his other three wives. For him, she is a poke root, a weed that is something useless. Maryam doesn't believe her. Nana further tells Maryam that Jalil was happy when they decided to live where no one could see and know about her pregnancy. Kolba was the decided place. Nana calls it a rat hole. Nevertheless, Jalil brags about it and tries to make Nana believe that she already got more than she deserves. Moreover, Nana cherishes explaining the story of her first suitor to Maryam. The suitor's family rejected Nana because of her epilepsy problem. This chapter ends with two contrasting information about the birth of Maryam. Nana says that she was all alone, struggling painfully for two days to have delivery. There wasn't any doctor or midwife to help her with it. While Jalil says that Nana was properly sent to the hospital, given birth to Maryam in around one hour. But that is true that all that happened in his absence. Maryam believes her father's version of story. Analysis The theme of feminism, Marxism and Marxist feminism continue in the second chapter as well. I would like to say that these three themes are dominant throughout the novel. There is no doubt that these dominant themes have been explored by researchers. But you can do, but what you can do is to change the perspective. I mean to change a theorist. Like there are many theorists in the field of feminism or Marxism. You can support your concern arguments by applying one. And this is something that makes your research approach unique. However, the central point about feminism here is that Nana's deprivation of her due marital rights. Jalil genuinely considers her as a second sex. This is the second sex of Simon de Beauvoir, which is suitable theory, theory to apply. During the description of Nana's subjugation in a patriarchal society, we see Maryam is a silent listener. Nevertheless, she has natural inclination towards her father's version of explanation. This means that she has natural inclination towards enlightened side of life. Now, you can also explain the same issue from the perspective of Marxism. Here, you need to focus on two dichotomies. Oppressor versus oppressed. Poor versus rich. Lower class versus upper class and the dominant versus dominated. Nana's economic dependence removed oppressive life along with bankruptcy of all freedom and rights or all the Marxist ideological influences.